Ola Kelly, Ola Keegan, hello Logan, hello Adelina, hello Carmela. Grandpa is in Panama. So I wanted to make a little video for you so you kind of understand where I'm at and what it's like here. So what I did was I got on a plane and I traveled from our house, our home, room to Panama. And when I arrived in Panama, I took a bus and I went to the local mall, which is huge. It's so big that you drive the bus right into the mall. It's one of the largest malls in the, in the Americas. So big that it even has a Ferris wheel inside. Once I went into the mall and I looked around, I bought some lunch. I went and got a hotel room. Then I, the next day, I went on a bus to a different area called the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal was built many years ago and the big ships travel through the Panama Canal. And I'm staying right near the Panama Canal in the middle of the country. It's very humid, very tropical here. And let me show you a little bit of that. Here's the house I'm staying in. It's very nice. But again, it's very humid here. Very hot, very rainy. And there's a lot of animals, many, many, many animals. In the morning, I was walking, I heard this screeching bird. It was so loud, it frightened Grandpa. There's a lot of little mammals running around that look like rats, but they're actually some sort of variation of a rodent. But don't worry, Grandpa was safe. I carried a machete. And the trees are very different here too. As you can see, this is a coconut tree. This is where coconuts come from. Costa Rica and Panama and other areas that are very tropical. Now I'm gonna show you my house. Let's go upstairs. I have to walk up the long stairs to my door. This is the living room. This is the screen porch. The windows are open all the time because it's very hot. There's Grandpa's yoga mat. There's a TV. This is the living room. This is for babies. Oh my God, the baby's gone. Where's the baby? Then we're going to go into the kitchen. Very nice kitchen. Now we're going to go outside to the back porch. As you can see, it's very wet because it was raining just a minute ago. It rains all the time now. Here's the backyard, very tropical. However, I wanted mostly to tell you about my time on the water on the canal. So I hired a man to take me out fishing. I right, both Captain Miguel. Hola, Miguel. Hola. <laughs> As we drove the boat, out onto the canal, we saw the big ships. And as you can see, this big ship has tugboats. The tugboats guide them through the water because they're so big and they're not in the ocean, they're in a canal. So the tugboats have to guide them through the canal safely. One of the things that Costa Rica has, like I said before, is animals, many, many animals everywhere. And my guide said, oh, let's go over to this tree. I'm gonna show you some bats. These are fruit bats. You can see them all lined up on a tree, waiting for the nighttime. And they eat bananas and other sweet things. 
and here's grandpa fishing i didn't catch a lot of fish but it was fun i really enjoyed it next we went way back into this lagoon and as we were driving back into the lagoon my guide said hey i think i saw some monkeys in the tree i said really he said well maybe we could feed them i said oh if I could feed wild monkeys, I would be crazy cuckoo. So we drove in and he parked the boat. And we parked the boat. The monkeys were just above us in the tree limb. I get those. I'm going to feed a monkey. Gonna, is a white faced monkey? No, it says Titi o Tamari. My guide gave me a little banana. He says, just hold the banana in your hand and lift it up for the monkeys and they will eat it. And I was a little nervous, so I had my hat on and I didn't want to look at the monkeys because I was kind of afraid of them. I didn't know monkeys. Huh? More off? Perfect. <laughs> then the monkey came down and he ate the banana right from my hand. I didn't feel anything but his little soft claws on my fingers. They're kind of scratchy, but not a lot. Very soft. Then his other friend came over and I lifted up another banana and he came down and he took the banana with his fingers. Hola mono. Mono. Hola mono. And then my guide saw another monkey up high in the tree, a white faced monkey. We saw that monkey, but he didn't come down. Then lastly, the second monkey came and ate another banana from Grandpa. Then they ran away. Little pieces. Perfecto. Huh? Well, we've got the nice warm tropical rain. Which would I choose? Tropical warm rain or snow in Wisconsin? The only reason I'm coming back is because of you guys. I love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.